everybody. I wanted to do a quick review on a product that I purchased last night from Ulta. It is on the Oxygen Peel by Philosophy. Like I said, I bought it at Ulta last night. It cost me $50. Um, it says that it helps brighten dull skin, it purifies skin, clears impurities from clogged pores. And the inside, you open it up. This is, these are the enzyme uh, capsules. There's 10 in per, per bottle. And then you use a teaspoon of the foam. has the step-by-step -step instructions um, with directions as well as pictures so you shouldn't be able to shouldn't be able to mess that up too badly um, but what I did notice last night when I made it I made entirely too much that one capsule made more product than what I was able to use so I thought you know why not just use half of a capsule and half of the um, the foam and I can double my my box so yeah that's what we're gonna do today He said, normally you do half, so today I'm going to do a little over a quarter. Okay, I just have to shut the door. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to shake it vigorously, and as you shake it, it will start to thicken up. But you're still going to see little white chunks in there. And in the instructions, it does state that you're, you're, it won't mix up all the way. It will still be chunky. And you can see it is getting kind of... A little bit thicker. Okay, now that I have it shaken up, I'm going to apply it with my brush. You can just get a little brush like this at um, a craft store. If you're in aesthetics, you probably already have a brush like this, but I'm going to use a brush that's a little bit cleaner than use my fingers. So I'm going to, it says apply a thick layer. You can see where you can see the chunks on my face. Apply a thick layer, avoiding the eye area. We've got that on. The box does state to add a generous layer, and I have, and I still have, this much left over. Okay, this is the foam layer that we're going to be adding. And normally you would use a teaspoon of this. Um, because I used half of a capsule, we're just going to be using half of a teaspoon. Okay, I've got my half of a teaspoon now. This I'm going to apply with my fingers. Take half of it and I'll apply it to one half of my face. And it is kind of hard to get it to mix in with that gel. But we're going to work it out here. Okay, now that we've got the the mask on and it's sat, um, the box stays you can leave it on for one to three minutes, mine's been on for three minutes, then they give you this as a little spatula and you're going to remove it with this. Um, it almost reminds me of like watching my dad shave when I was a kid. So we're just going to start and drag. I'm just wiping this onto a paper towel that I have. So, but you get the gist of it. I'm going to finish this and I'll be back in a second. Okay, uh, now that we, I've gotten it all off, um, I do want to tell you that the box does state that if you are sensitive, you don't have to use the little spatula to remove it. You can just go ahead and rinse it off. But I am extremely sensitive and normally my skin will turn red just from touching it. Um, this, I didn't turn red, it didn't burn, it didn't sting, it didn't itch, nothing. Um, it, I would say that I get immediate, you know, it's immediately it's, it feels soft, but then again, my face has just been washed. So, and like I said, I got it at Ulta for $50. Would I spend another $50 for this oxygen peel? Probably not, no. I think I could probably use other things and make it, you know, get, get the same benefits. But um, no, I, I probably won't be buying it again. So I hope this helps you. Um, until next time, thanks, bye.